Good morning, it is day 152, and look at how dirty my fingernails are. Everything we own is wet. I am going out with my pullover, my long sleeve melee, and my rain jacket, and my rain pants on, and it's a little chilly today. So, I can't tell if the sky is blue or not, but I sure hope it is, because yesterday it was cold and wet and windy. So we are going to walk down to Bethel today and uh, get a hotel and wash our clothes. I'm hoping we can get some vinegar before we actually put it in the wash just to kind of rinse it through because I rung out my socks yesterday and it was just mud water. So I've got wet socks on, which is normal in this time of situation. Ooh, I think I see, really nice it looks like hazy water coming down, doesn't it? Um, but we have to go up Speck Mountain and then down. So hopefully that will happen relatively quickly. We can get into town and get our resupply, get our laundry done, and uh, get dry. So we'll see you on the trail. We started on the trail just around 7 o'clock. We have a little over a mile hike up to the top of Speck Mountain. We are still on the ascent. There's a white blaze that we've been following for over 1,900 miles. And we've had a lot of rock climbing, some with our poles and some without, but always with water, <laughs> at least today and yesterday. But it's not raining, so I can always be grateful for that. My feet are muddy all over again. But the trail is beautiful. The boards here in southern Maine are horrible. We had to tap our way through a bog because there was such a gap between the boards, and the boards were underwater so you couldn't see them. Going through this barn. The sun is trying to fight its way through. We have a little bit more visibility than yesterday. You see the mountain up there? My guess would be that that is Speck Mountain. Here's the rest of our climb. Don't know how much more is left once we get to the top of that, but that's cray cray crazy. We are headed down from Speck Mountain to Grafton Notch. And we just made our reservations for the Bethel Motel. Um, it was a little bit pricier than I was hoping. It was like $210 for a room, uh, two beds, but that's okay. We need to get dried out and wash our clothes. I have seen a speck of blue in the sky, so that's good. And uh, it's almost nine o'clock and we're gonna have a shuttle pick us up at noon. So I think we might get down there a little earlier than that, but there's no service down there. So we had to kind of guesstimate and we're not really sure how much of this is gonna change on the descent and if it's going to be similar to what we went through on the way up here. So uh, it'll be a short day for us, but we really do need to dry out our stuff. Temperatures are getting cold and we don't want to be on this knees all down. <coughs> um, don't want to be walking around in cold wet clothing out here. So we will throw caution to the wind and kind of reset ourselves uh, once we get into Bethel. Less than a mile to go and we are blessed with this beautiful waterfall. We are just coming out of the woods at Grafton Notch right around 11.30 and there's trail magic. Sorry. 
So that's exciting. And a ride should be here pretty soon as well. So. You know, look at that. That's what we just climbed down. It has to be. Wow. So we came down out of the mountain. We're getting ready to get picked up, but Mahusik Mountain Search and Rescue is out here along with a couple other organizations. You guys had a rescue today, right? Uh, overnight. Uh, yeah, so we're uh, we're a search and rescue team. Uh, we do actually a lot more rescues than searches. Um, we're one of the more technical teams in the state. Uh, so we do high angle rescues, uh, swift water, so kayaking, uh, moving water, um, but general uh, injuries on the trail or beyond. Uh, right. If people get off the trail, uh, we can take care of them. Um, yeah, we had patient up here in the mountains uh, they were in a position that they could be stable so we got big group out today uh, our bosses really that make the call right. for us are the main warden service uh, we also work closely with the local fire department so new fire was out okay uh, today um, that we uh, but we're all volunteer we all that's what it, yeah uh, we're all pretty happy in the woods. It's, yeah. it's our happy place. It's where we're comfortable. And we've built up skills, whether it's through work or just on our own. And this is some of our way to give back to the community. Gotcha. Is to be available when stuff happens. Oh, we should have gotten Liz. So, Liz. Liz is really good at talking So about are you stuff. guys under the umbrella of the warden? So no, we're, 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 we're all... Liz. Yeah, so we're a volunteer organization. We're a right. standalone. Okay. Uh, when we're on calls, the wardens are our bosses. Okay. Uh, All rescue stuff in the state of Maine, in mm -hmm. backcountry rescue, is, is the responsibility of the wardens, and we're okay. a resource for the wardens. Gotcha. And then how do you guys get your training? We run it ourselves, largely. Really? Um, Most of us have stuff like... Um, training for other jobs mm -hmm. uh like medical people, background wilderness or... first responders okay. and other like a lot of our team members work in outdoor ed or other sort of outdoor yeah. jobs anyways and right control, yeah uh, and then some specific stuff yeah. we do in-house and some with other organizations as well yeah. sorry but, yeah. no. do you guys have uh like how many people are in this uh on this team uh, I think when I looked at the roster last night while I was trying to figure out how many folks were going to potentially get today, I think we have 70 on our oh, email wow. list. Um, we have uh, 40, I think, on our text text group. That really is the ones we expect to respond to a call like that. Right. Um, and today, I think we actually got uh, 16 to 20 out. Um, we're always looking for new folks. So if right. you're... Uh, comfortable in the woods and you live in western Maine, right. uh, we'd be glad to at least chat. Do you, do you just look up Mahusik we'll Mountain? Give you a card. Yeah. yeah, give me a card and I'll put it on there. Yeah. Um, where is your, where's the range from? Like what you guys cover from where to where? Yeah, so largely it's from the New Hampshire border up mm -hmm. to about Tumbledown Mountain. Okay. Uh, then that really transitions into Franklin Search and Rescue okay. uh, territory. But it really depends. Uh, we're, we do a lot of kind of mutual aid type stuff where right. if the, uh, a team needs more resources, we'll go help them out. Right. Uh, we were actually looking at our numbers today and do we need to call in more? Gotcha. Uh, call in Franklin or one of the other nearby right. teams for some more help. Gotcha. Because uh, it's going to be a very long day, long right. carry to get this patient out. Right. And if the wardens basically request us anywhere in the state, yeah. we'll go. We also sometimes will go out and help New Hampshire. Um, okay. Because we're so close to the border. That's awesome. Yeah. And actually, Chris Hayward is here. He's actually our leadership. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Chris? And hiding. Uh, <laughs> but, we'll, uh, we'll get him over yeah. in a moment. But. Okay. Uh, yeah, we also help out with Baxter State Park. Um, okay. They have us up there uh, every couple weekends, um, so to help them out with technical rescues with coverage. Right. The the you guys stay pretty busy during the hiking season. <laughs> it's it's kind of hit or miss. Yeah. We'll have right. Um, we'll have a busy stretch and then right. You know, it's it's really hit or miss. Gotcha. Um, All right. Well, thanks. You guys can think anything else that. 
would be helpful. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Thanks for being out in the woods and having fun. Oh yeah, we're having a blast. Thank you so much. Scrambled eggs. We got Judy's with this former through hiker. <laughs> when did you say 2010? 14. 2014. 2014. Made these awesome eggs for us. <laughs> and she's just. Are you Elizabeth, guys? The wife. The wife. <laughs> now, were you a support system for him when he was doing the hiking? Uh, by staying home and trying not to complain or call him when something happened at the house. <laughs> gotcha. 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 Yep, I did not. But did you go Sobo or Nobo? North. You went north Yeah. Of course. Gotcha. So you could hike home, way, right? There? I don't think so. No, April <laughs> to August. Oh wow. Four months and three days. That's fast. Yeah. Wow. We are staying at the West Bethel Motel, and that is Aaron, who is the owner. He is going to drive us into town so that we can eat and resupply. I'll show you our rooms when we get back today. Here are our season one and my shoes. Look at how filthy they are. We are eating at Moose Eats. We just went shopping at Mainly's Provisions, and I'll show you when we get back to the hotel, but there are some of my goodies. Yeah, that's ice cream. <laughs> Sam just came in. She met Phoenix at McDonald's a couple days ago, and she has brought us some trail magic. Look at that. We got Dr. Pepper. We got bananas. We got watermelon and chips. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Okay, here is my food for four days. So, we'll start off with this stuff. I have six, I have two protein bars per day. And then I have these Skippy wafer bars that are light. So, I got them. I haven't used those before. So, I have six of those. And then for dinner, I'm doing mashed potatoes. And then I have my onion, onion crunchies. And I have some hard salami and some snack sticks that I'm gonna use for both my lunches and maybe put them in my mashed potatoes. And then I have a tuna creation um, and my uh, tortilla wraps along with these for my lunches as well. And then, so breakfast will be a protein bar and probably one of these and then I'll bring some snacks with me. So my snacks will be, I have some um, uh, sport beans. I have a couple of those left. And then I have some Mott's um, fruit chew things. And then I have um, Snickers, but there's two little ones in each one of these. So I'm not sure how I'll divide those up. I guess I'll just eat them when I'm ready to eat them. And then I have um, some Sour Patch Kids that I've been getting into. I got one bag and just divided it into two. I have some hot chocolate that I should take at night. And then I have two bags of nuts. And I think that's it. I have some electrolytes and some um, other drink mix in here. Some True Lime that I really like. And then I've got a small bag of potato chips and a small bag of Doritos that I'll have for lunch. And then other than that, I carry my vitamins. I have some protanin pills in here. I have my vitamins in here. And then I have some turmeric and my Aleve. So I take two Aleve in the morning and one at night. And that's it. So that will get me probably beyond four days, but that's what I've got set up. So. There you go for the next four days. I've just found a new video. It's called Fire Country. And so I'm gonna watch an episode of that. I haven't watched TV in a long time. Here's a scan of our room. Watching that movie. Ice in my knees. The West Bethel Motel is pretty on spot. It was a little expensive, but um, they have a kitchen, full kitchen, with all the utensils. They've got bagels and coffee that you can take yeah, for breakfast, um, chips. Uh, he 
shuttles us back and forth to the trailhead, took us into town, uh, all without extra cost. Yeah. So if you take that in consideration, it wasn't that bad. We have a microwave and refrigerator in the house, in the uh, room. And uh, he and his assistant have been awesome. So I would definitely recommend that, this place. I'm going to call it a night and finish icing my knees and then get a good night's sleep because we are taking off at 7 o'clock tomorrow to get back on the trail. So I hope you had a great day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the trail tomorrow. Bye. Peace out.